everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel it is gb here from ink and babes and for today's video we are actually going to be cash stuffing our saving challenges for the second week of november now the first week of november which we would have done last week um as you would have seen when we did our bills we only had enough money to cover the bills and november 1st was like i think a wednesday and so my cash flow was just enough for that week. So I really didn't have any bills coming out that week, large bills. So the majority of my money went to rent and to my grocery. So there was no need for me to cash stuff any of my saving challenges for that very first week because it was only like three days, three or four days. So essentially, even though this is the second week in November in terms of my cash flow, this is actually my first week in terms of my savings challenges. I really don't know why I'm explaining all of that. But anyway, we're going to be cash stuffing my savings challenges for today. Now, in our last cash envelope stuffing for the second week of November, when we did our, when we put the money into our cash envelopes into my sinking funds binder, remember we took the 160 euros out of that and we put it to the side. So I have 160 euros from the cash envelope stuffing for the second week of November's cash flow. Also, when we did our cash stuffing at the end of October, we had some money left over and it was like a bunch of fives. I remember I said I was going to put that to the side and I'm just going to use it for my next cash envelope stuffing for my savings challenges. Also, <laughs> sorry, um, if you didn't know, I have, I have before I got started doing cash envelope stuffing, I did content for nails. And so I have like affiliate links and whatnot. And sometimes I do earn a commission. So I actually made a couple dollars, a couple euros, sorry, um, in commission from referring products from my videos and stuff like that. So all of that kind of makes up this, the money that we have here. So money that we saved from our cash flow, money that we had left over from the previous savings challenge cash stuffing, and also some money that I made on the side from my nail content that I create. So please don't think that I'm, oh, I made all of this. I didn't, this is just pulled from different sources, okay? All right, so let's see how much cash we have in total for this week. So we have 51, 50. I actually didn't even, five, 10, 20, 50. I actually didn't even count the cash. That's how excited I'd be about saving money. I don't even bother counting it. As soon as I find it, I just grab it and I just shove it into an envelope before I even have time to think about spending it. And I have to hide it from my husband too because I don't want him to think we have money to spend. 20, 40, 60. Uh, so that's 60. And then 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's 40. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 45. Wow, we have 295 euros. That is amazing. Now, I just wanted to quickly point out before I get started. Last week, um, actually two weeks ago, my mom sent me a text message to say that my father wasn't doing too well back into the back in the Caribbean. And so she needed me to send some funds because he needed to get some tests done and what's not. So I just wanted to quickly remind someone out there about having an emergency fund even though i started this emergency fund for me my husband and our six kids this fund is also to help out our family members if they are in need because why would i ever tell my mother no why would i ever say no to my parents they raised me you know what i mean so when i just i think i just cashed off this 100 euros from one of my savings challenges i think it was a 20 euro savings challenge and so we had 500 in here and now we're down to 250, right? So this is 150 in prop notes and the other 100 is in one of these binders here. So I just, so now we're, we had 500, but now we're back down to 250. So I just wanted to quickly point out that my emergency fund, half of it is now gone because I helped my family member in need. And I'm, I'm so happy about that. Six, four, I don't, what did I get? I, I got started cash stuffing. Bear with me a minute, guys. I'm just sharing something with you. I got started cash stuffing the beginning of June. June, July, August, September, October, five, and now we're in November six. So for the last six months, I have trained my brain to save. 
after years of just spending, spending, spending and never saving any money. If I did not have this money, then I would have had so much guilt that I was not able to support my family in the time of need. And that my my daddy is so happy. His children, can he can call on his children and his children can come to his rescue in a time of need. I just want to reiterate I'm this money here that you see is being saved for savings goals is being saved for emergency fund is being saved for miscellaneous this month ahead anniversary what else vacation and stuff all of that you'd never know when you're gonna need cash and you never know when your family's gonna need cash so I'm all of my savings challenges have a purpose I'm not just grabbing cash and just cash stuffing it there is a purpose so now I just wanted to say all that sorry just wanted to share that with you now we're gonna get into the cash stuffing okay so we have a good amount of cash to work with usually we only have 160 euros but we were able to get some extra cash so the first thing that we're going to do which is my priority is to make sure that my kids have christmas shopping money okay i have six kids if you're new to my channel i have six kids two twins two singles i have plenty of kids i need plenty plenty money so what I'm going to do is let's see which saving challenges we can actually cash stuff. Okay, so for our first saving challenge for the night, and thank you for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> I know I, I, I do talk a lot, so you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to live with that. Um, I don't feel like coloring in tonight. I'm so sorry to anyone that loves seeing coloring. I don't feel like coloring tonight. So we are just going to go ahead and just take off 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we are going to get... Do I want to break this down? Oh, I'm only adding 10, so actually I don't have a choice. What I could do is take this 10 out and I can put it at 20. So it's 50, 70, 90. So our 100 days before Christmas is we only have 10 more euros and we will be done. We will be done with this saving challenge. Technically, we weren't supposed to finish this challenge until just before Christmas, actually. But we're going to get it out the way because we got lots of Christmas shopping to do. So I'm done with that. Just going to put that in there. Okay, let's move on over to our next saving challenge. Oh, we finished this one 12 weeks. A lot of these challenges we have finished. So 25 euros is done, another 25 euros is done, another 50 euros is done. Okay, so we are here at this 50 euro savings challenge. Now, we do have extra cash. I'm thinking, why don't we just get, why don't we just get this out of the way, you know? Anyway, maybe, maybe not. Let's not rush. Take your time. I still have about two to three weeks before Black Friday when all the good deals are gonna go. So for today, let's do another 10 towards this. Do we have any small notes in here? No, we don't. Okay. We'll just put 10 euros towards this and we're gonna do a seven, which is this one there. And we're gonna do a three. So that leaves us with four plus four is eight. Uh, eight plus three is 11 and 11 plus three is 14. That's not bad. I'm, I might come back to this. Let's see how much cash we have left over because don't forget we still have the 50 envelope challenge. And so we'll see how much cash we have left. But again, I still have time for this. So there's no, re no need to rush. Um, the hundred euro challenge okay so we finished this hundred euro christmas savings challenge and thank you to everyone that has been ordering personalized christmas savings challenge i'm not i'm not sure if you're coming from youtube because you see these and you see the progress that i'm making with these but i do appreciate all of the etsy support that you guys are sending my way i do appreciate it thank you for your patience i know i have a few orders that i need to get out um, and we've been, you know, I've been emailing them and they've been very patient with me. So thank you guys so much uh, for your orders. Thank you so much. So the 100 euros savings challenge, that one is done. Okay, so the 150, we need to put some money into this one. So let's see what we could get accomplished tonight. 
Okay, we have some odd numbers here. Um, we have, okay. We have a 14, a 12, hmm. A nine. Bear with me, guys. We have a 12 and a 17. Maybe I could just do that. 12 plus 17. That's 29. So I'm I'm just going to put in 30. Yeah, I'm just going to put in 30 euros for this one. What kind of money I have inside here? Yeah. So we're going to, yeah, we'll just do that. Because I'm not trying to figure it out. What did I say I was doing just now? 12 and 17, right? Yeah, so that's 29. So we'll take those two reindeers off, and that leaves us with 14, 14, 9, 9, and a 10. So we still have a good ways to go for that one. But I feel confident that we might be able to finish that one off um, sometime by the end of November. I feel like we should be able to finish that one off. Okay, just, just want to get it as dry as possible because I don't have a dashboard. Oh, maybe I need to... Don't I have free dashboards now because I changed my binder? I do. So we can put this dashboard in here because I changed the dashboards in my other binder. So now I have these ones so I can use these instead. So they should all have, well, I don't need dashboards for that one. All right, great. So I don't want the ink to get on my envelope. All right, so that one is done. So next is 150 euros. We already finished that Christmas savings challenge. And we also finished this 200 euro Christmas savings challenge. So now we are left with the New Year's, 100 days before New Year's Eve uh, Christmas savings challenge. And for this one, we're also going to put in 10 euros. And so we're putting a, no, that's my last 20. I don't want to take my last 20 out. So we're putting a 10. I need this 20 euros for the 20 euro challenge. So we'll just take off 10 of these champagne glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're also going to be finished this one as well. Technically speaking, 100 days before New Year's is actually November 4th, I think. So we will be finished hopefully by the end of November which I'm very happy about all right since we have this dashboard in here we can just put this cash we can just put this savings thing in there the ink will transfer to that all right that brings our all of our Christmas savings challenges we're done now so we can now move on to our next binders all right that was a good cash stuff for the Christmas I am so happy that it's all I'm I'm nearly almost done with those okay so now we have our other binder here and then remember that we had set up the 50 envelope uh savings binder and we also set up the 500. um we also set up the 1000 and the 2024 but these two are for next year i just got a head start i just wanted to put something in them i think i did this in september we're right now in november i haven't really been stuffing them so these are not a priority for me right now because i'm doing the christmas savings challenges once i'm done with my christmas money and give, and give my kids their christmas money i can start to resume them again okay so first thing first let's see oh we have a new challenge for this is gonna be the last savings challenge for this autumn season do i have a marker for this i don't think i have a marker it would have been nice to color this but i don't have a marker and i'm yeah i'm just we're gonna keep this very simple so for this one, we're going to put in five euros. That's one, two, three, four, five. These are very easy and low income friendly saving challenges. You can definitely do this from the comfort of your home. What I'm going to do, I don't have, I don't, yeah, I'm just going to put five in because I don't, I can't use my 20. All right. So easy peasy lemon squeezy savings challenge. That's building up quite nicely. Um, I just let the money roll over each month, but most likely in December, 
let's see how far we get i'm just gonna condense everything in all of the binders and we're gonna start nice and clean and fresh for the for january 2024 all right moving on to our next savings challenge this is the five euro savings challenge we're gonna add our five our first five for november that is done um we just did a cash count and a budget update with this not too long ago so i'm not going to bother counting the cash today i don't want the video to be too long let's move on over to our next savings challenge here this is our 10 euros every week savings challenge let's go ahead and put in for the first week of november that is now done these ones are very, very easy. Every small little bit adds up. You will be surprised how quickly the cash adds up if you take small baby steps. There's no need to rush unless you do have a reason to rush. Obviously, I don't want anyone to think like, you know, there is a reason to rush. All right. And then weekly is 20 euros. So now we can. So this 100 represents the 100 that we put towards my emergency fund but i just have the placeholder here because i like knowing that i saved it so so far i, I said i wasn't gonna count it did i yeah we're not gonna count it i mean you can probably guess how much cash it is by the amount of times i've stroked onto this savings challenge all right 20 euros for the week has now gone in um, this is an empty envelope because we took the challenges out. We made binders. So that's empty. That's empty. That is empty. That is empty. All right. Moving on to our next savings challenge. Oh, we are now in the themed savings challenge. This is our monthly themed savings challenge. I'm going to need a dice for this one. So let's go ahead and get my dices if I can find them. Usually I take two dices and let's see, I'm going to use the gold dice and I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use the white dice. And again, this is another savings challenge that's relatively low income. Just roll one dice or whatever the number is. You save that and you just put the number into the envelope or to the side, however you want to do it, or you just squash it off, however you want to do it. But they are low income friendly. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll these dices and see the two numbers that we get. So this is a two and a six. I don't have any twos, do I? I don't have any ones. I mean, I do have a one. I could take this out and just put in ten. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to... I'm just going to add 10. So again, we're going to say four and six. And that's our numbers for this week. Okay. So November monthly themed saving challenge is now done. Now let's move on over to, this is our affirmation uh savings challenge again we do the exact same thing we take two dices and we roll and see what kind of cash we have going on this is the monthly affirmation for november money flows easily and abundantly into my life money flows easily and abundantly into my life hope you receive that all right take our two dices let's change it up we're gonna do the black i don't know if that's gonna be a lucky one Oh, okay, so we got a six for this one. And I'm literally going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and add 10 euros. So we're going to say six and a four. I, I just, I don't feel like looking for change. Sorry, guys. All right, six and four goes into there money flows easily and abundantly into my life all right so now let's move on over to our scorpio savings challenge so happy birthday to all of the scorpios anyone celebrating 
their November birthday. Happy birthday to you. We're going to add 10 euros to the Scorpio savings challenge as well. We got a head start on this last month as well. That's why we're so far in already. Um, and doesn't it feel good to be ahead of your savings plans? That's why it's good to just start off small, stay consistent, and you will develop a saving habit. Right. We don't, we don't need to count that as that. All right. Sorry about any background noise you may or may not hear. I mean, I shouldn't say may not. You will... You will always hear background noise. I do have one more savings challenge here, and this is my debt payoff savings challenge, but we're not yet starting this just as yet. We need to finish off some of our savings goals and our saving challenges first. Then we can take that money and actually apply it to our debt. Now, we're finished with this binder. Now we need to bring over my... 500 euro savings challenge and i haven't had a chance yet to make the months dashboards remember i told you that i don't want to be counting the months i want to have each i want to have inserts that says january february march april what's not so now we're in the month of november and the first amount here is 10 euros so um we finished September and October, so this makes it easy. So this is November. This is going to be the November cash envelope here, and we're just going to take ten euros and push it in here until I get my inserts, and that'll be the first amount. First amount for this month. So what I'm going to do is just take this off right there. Now, I don't want this to mess up my envelope, so I'm going to get one of these Income Babes um, protectors so I can put it in there. And I'm going to get one for the 50 envelope challenge as well. And we can just put this into the front here so it doesn't mess up the envelope. There we go. Voila! Excellent. Okay, so the 500 envelope challenge, 500 euro. I don't know why I keep saying 500 envelope. 500 euro challenge is now done. Now let's move on over to our last. Oh my goodness. We, what? Why do I have so much cash? Wow, we have a lot of cash left over, but that's good. We could knock out some really large numbers in this challenge. Okay, so let me just put this insert in here so it doesn't mess anything up. Okay, all right, so I need to grab my 50 envelope cards. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight, guys. We're going to give this deck a shuffle. So all of these are the days remaining. And I have some bonus days in here. And I have some wild cards in here. So I don't know what I'm going to get. So we're going to make this a little bit fun rather than just going on here. I'm like, okay, guys, let's do this. We're going to let the deck decide which numbers we're going to do. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I'm going to pull a card from the back so that I can't see. Because clearly I can see what's in the front here. So let's see, we're going to pull our first card is <laughs> 42. Oh my goodness. Okay, 42. Let's see. Okay, so we can just kind of skip over to our next envelope here. Um, 49. So 42 is going to go in there, right? Okay. What I'm going to do is let's see, let's see how far we get in terms of the cash. So we already have 42 that we need to put in. Let's grab another card. I'm going to go to the middle of the deck this time. Um, no peeking guys, no peeking. And let's see what this one says. Oh, so this says day 16. All right. So... 16 plus 42 gives us 58 that we need to put into this envelope. 
um, and I don't think I have any change. I need to break up one of these 50s into smaller notes. Um, do any of my savings challenges that we just cashed off, do any of them have any small notes? Let's have a look. What's inside this one? 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Nope, that's not enough in there. I just need two 20s and a 10. Let's see how much cash we have in this one. This is the five, so 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Nope, can't do anything here either. What is this one here? This is our 10. Nope, can't do anything in, the, in there either. What is this one? 20, 40. Okay, so we could do something in the 20s. I need to break one of these 20s down. So we'll just take two 10s out of here and we're gonna put that in there. Then we're gonna come back here, take two 20s and a 10. I'm gonna add this over there and then just put the 20 in, this 10 in, sorry. Okay, and so that should go back in here. Okay, I think we have some change now. Hopefully we don't need any more change. Okay, so we said that this is 58, but we're gonna just put in the 60. So we're gonna take a 50 and we're gonna take a 10. So 42 and 16 is now done. So 41, that's 42 and number 16 is now done for this one. All right, let's put these cards into our cash envelope. Okay, so we still have some cash, which means that we still need to go. Okay, we still gotta go. We still gotta get all of this cash into an envelope. I'm gonna give this deck another shuffle again. Okay, so now we're going to pull from almost to the front. Last time we pulled all the way from the front. Oh, so this says bonus day, which means when you have a bonus day, that means you can put any amount that you want, So, which is good. So now we're now going to pull another card, and we'll just make up the difference. Let's see what this card is. Voila, 47. So we have a 47, and we have a bonus day. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in 50. So my bonus day, I'm just going to round it off to 50. So it'll be an extra three. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this in there. Bonus day and 47. And 50 goes into this one. So we now need to update day 47. So we just finished that one just now. Okay, so the good part is we've the only the only thing that we would need to be worried about right now is if we got 48. However, we know we have three euros bonus in here anyway, so we could still we know that it's gonna be in the binder. So let's give this deck a final shuffle. And let's see what our last number is going to be. Hopefully, our last number is going to be for the night. I definitely don't want an IOU. All right, I'm going to pull from the front this time and see what kind of number we get. And this number is 25. 25. Okay. 25 is going to go into here. We have 25 here. I don't know if I want to go again. I don't want an IOU. 25 it's gonna go in here and I don't think I have any other small numbers here as well 25 oops yep 25 is here 
Actually, we do. We have 20 here as well. We can still put in the 20. This 20 hasn't gone as yet. Oh, great. That worked out, didn't it? Now I just, now that I go and shuffle all these cards, now I need to look for 20. 20. 2632 All the bonus days stuck to each other. All the 40s stuck to each I need to um I need to unstuck them. 23 and see see like some of all of the wild cards are kind of stuck to each other as well. So we definitely need to Give them a good shuffle. That's 22, 35, 37. How fun was that? That was so much fun doing it randomly. We got a bonus day. We haven't got a wild card yet. I'm looking forward to a wild card. Okay, here's day 20, which is going to be our last card for the night for the 50 envelope challenge. All right, all of the challenge cards, and I'm going to go back into the box. Maybe I should just put them in this. Can they fit in here? I don't know if they can fit inside here. Nope, I don't think they can fit inside here. Okay, it's going to go back into the box, our acrylic box. And we can now put the number day 20 card inside here. And we can finally add our final 20 to this envelope. And that's it. All of our cash is now gone. So we were able to do a good amount of large numbers and some medium numbers as well so that's good uh, we're, we're definitely getting there guys we're definitely getting there okay thank you so much for watching today's cash stuffing sorry if this video ended up being long i actually don't know how long it's gonna be um we're now done we cashed all our we cashed off all of our savings challenges and we got to do some some of the numbers of the 50 envelope challenge so thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next video bye guys